Coach, uh, you, you talked about it a little bit, you know, obviously after the, after Tuesday's game, but now, you know, facing San Diego State and just, you know, it's a lot riding on it for you guys and for them too. Yeah. Just what what that makes it even more, you know, exciting for you guys. Well, it's, a, you know, first of all, it's a credit to my staff and our players that put us in this position. I mean, we're playing for a league championship on Saturday and the opportunity to win a league championship is what it really is because there's two games after that. And, uh, you know, we're going into a hornet's nest. We know that. And uh, we've played there before. It's a great atmosphere. And we know San Diego State's going to come out breathing fire. They always do. And they have, you know, since they left here, they've been playing terrific basketball. They get Poli back. And so, you know, they got a lot going for them. We know that. And uh, uh, we're just going to have to play our best game. Even when you, this team had a bunch of freshmen on it, they still played well down there. Yeah. You know, I don't want to say does that give you confidence because you guys have played well on the road this year too. But you know, just the fact that you guys you know, have been able to handle it pretty well down there. You, you you like the fact that we've been into some hostile environments before and they've played a lot. You know, we got a lot of experience at that. But you know, this is going to be different. This one's going to be uh, as as hostile and as intense as you can ever have. And a, it's one of the best places to play and, and the hardest places to play in the country. And you know, they're 15 and 0 at home and and. But probably the, the most important thing is they're a championship level team and they're they're a great team and they're so well coached and and they're going to be dialed in so we know that we know what we're getting into and we, we just got to go down there and compete how practice has been since tuesday great you know i mean we we have a consistency in our preparation i mean uh you know you don't just because it's this game it's not we're not going to change everything and uh just we just do what we do and and understand what we have to do and, and understand the game plan and our guys have been great about that. What do you think from your perspective is your greatest challenge in facing them and then turn it around, what do you think is their greatest challenge in facing you? Well, our, our probably greatest challenge is keeping them off the boards and their physical, uh, you know, their physical ability, keeping them out of transition because, you know, if you take bad shots or if you turn the ball over, they're going to get a lot of easy buckets. They're great at that. And, you know, they're uh, so much better at that at home they're going to have so much more energy and, and the way they're going to be flying around. So those, those two challenges are huge. And, and then, you know, we're a tough matchup uh, in, in the fact that we can spread you out the way we shoot the ball. And so those are the two, you know, things that both teams have to deal with. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's different dealing with it at their place. You guys have uh, already have a couple sweeps on this season at conference play. Just how much harder is it to beat a team a second time around than the first time around? Oh, I, I think those are all media things, you know, that, that people always, theories that people throw out, like, oh, you can never beat a team three times, and, well, I've seen a lot of teams do things like that. I mean, it's just, you know, uh, I don't think any of that applies, any of those cliches or anything. It's just, uh, we know we have to play against a really, really good San Diego State team, and it, it's going to be, you know, they're going to be dialed in, and both teams are going to be, and so, you know, it's just going to be, hopefully it's a high-level game, hopefully both teams play well. You know, going on the road where San Diego State seems to always win at home, two top teams in the Mountain West. Are these opportunities? Are they are they fun in a way? Are they stressful? How do you? How no, do you these are the ones you like, and you know, the, the, these these are the these are what kids want to play in, and these are what you know, they want, you know what we've tried to build the program to. I mean, yeah, if you would have told me, like I said, on the way back from Wyoming, that we'd be playing for a chance to win the conference championship in, in at San Diego State on this day. We'd be pretty excited about doing it, and that's the way we approach it. Of course, you went to, to win, but the non-conference games at Wisconsin and NC State, are, are those, you know, for this time of year? You know, I, but I also, you know, the league games prepare you for these things. I mean, you know, this, is, this league has some of the toughest venues to play in. I mean, Utah State, New Mexico, UNLV, you know, and then San Diego State is probably, you know, one of the toughest in the country. So... Yeah, we've played in a lot of tough arenas, and these guys over the years have played in a lot of tough arenas. And so, but but it's always a factor because it's a factor for the home team because it makes them play with such great energy. And uh, you know, I've seen that really happen. Derek obviously gets a lot of attention for the right reason, but the, those other four seniors, it just seems like those guys have kind of all fit their roles really yeah. well. Maybe, you know, maybe don't fill up the stat sheet, but. If you look, that they've all at some point or another provided really key plays for you guys. What, oh, absolutely. But those other guys, what have they meant the, you know, the, to you this season, especially? Yeah, the, the, I love it when our seniors, you know, max out their abilities and max out the team, uh, and that's what they're doing. These guys all care about the team, and they've all brought what they can bring uh, to help this team, and that's why we're winning. You know, Derek's doing great things, obviously, and 
but we don't win without all these guys doing what they do and doing their roles. Everybody's role is just equally important, whether you're scoring 30 a game or whether you're you know, running the scout team uh, at an elite level. Those roles are equally important. Iggy, when he's been in the starting lineup lately, he's been playing some, you know, some of his better basketball, yeah. maybe, you know, maybe his career in a way, and overall the way he's been playing. How oh, he's how'd you assess how he's done and, lately? And the thing about Iggy is, you know, he just he does whatever he has to do to help his team win. And, you know, whether it's he's taking the right shots, he's guarding their best perimeter guy, he's rebounding, he, he just does what it takes for us to win. And, and like I said, that's he's doing his role at the highest level. Does it get annoying when people ask you about the NCAA tournament? Uh, I don't even really listen to the questions. Yeah, yeah. So I just, you know, most you have a rote response. Dave, when you, yeah, when you ask questions, I don't even know what the question was. I just have my answer no matter what, and it fits whatever you say. So. What's your favorite movie? No? <laughs> you keep you on your toes a little bit. The, the what? What's your favorite movie? I was just, we just got to keep you on your toes. Yeah, so. I think that they, you know, when they produce it, movies, they, uh, I don't even know the question. Exactly. Um, you, Jake and, uh, and Dez, I know, have been out for a little while. It, at this point, do you have any idea when you might get them back? No, Jake's trying to move around. I think it's going way slower than, you know, he had, he had one day where he moved around pretty good, and then the next day he was pretty sore. So he's, you know, he kind of, he, he's running a little bit like Frankenstein on that foot. It, it doesn't look good right now. So uh, hopefully we can get him back for, you know, let him have a senior night. That's what I'm shooting for. I think he's shooting for earlier than that, but uh, I still haven't seen him move very good. Des, any idea? And Des is, you know, De Dez has been out for a long time, right. so he's pretty rusty, and uh, he, he's trying to move around a little bit more every day. But uh, I think he's a long ways from it. Yeah, I got to hear David sing for the first time. Do you think he's uh, probably the greatest Bronco basketball players to sing? You know, I think he has to rank up there uh, as probably one of the better singers. I haven't I haven't interviewed them all, in fact, on who can sing and who can't. But I think David's going to be. Yeah, my goal is to someday get him to sing the national anthem. Cool, so. He says Chandler has a sneaky voice. Have you really? heard Chandler sing? I have not heard Chandler sing. No, I haven't. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe get the two of them to do some duet. Yeah, do you ever, ever have to tell them to, to be quiet a little bit on team trips, David? David? Oh, yeah, yeah. You always do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a professional conversationalist. <laughs>